Hey my fellow Belmonts, this is I, Rick the Belmont 12. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This is Let's Play Star Trek Voyager Elite Force, an FPS game. Uh, I should have checked the year. That was made by Raven Software, and it's based on the Star, Star Trek Voyager um, universe. Well, Star Trek, but it's the series Voyager. My second, my second favorite Star Trek series in the whole series. Um, I remember my, I remember my, um, un uncle used to have this game, and he was a huge Star Trek fan, and, uh, my father was too. He likes, um, my father loves Kirk, but I like Picard. It it's weird, but I still, um, you know, um, I don't even know what I'm talking about, but, hey, it's an FPS game, it's made under the Quake 3 engine, made by Raven Software, and a Star Trek theme. One of the few only FPS games based in the Star Trek universe. The other one was, I think, Klingon Honor Guard. That came out before the uh, before this. But... I am not the huge, huge Star Trek um, fan out there. I mean, I'll try. I mean, I'll try, but... I want to play this game because I actually do love this game. Even though I'm not the fan of Star Trek, I still love this game. So, uh, let's start a new game. We'll play as Alexander Monroe of the Elite Force. And we'll play this on normal. So, so let's engage. On Stardate 48315.6, the USS Voyager was transported beyond our control. 70,000 light years across the galaxy to the Delta Quadrant. There, without aid from Starfleet, we began our 70 year journey home. In our numerous encounters, we came into contact with many dangerous and violent species. Having a limited crew with no chance of reinforcements, we determined that we needed a specialized team to handle the more dangerous situations. Tuvok, Voyager's chief of security, assembled an elite force of security personnel named the Hazard Team. Ensign Monroe is second in command of this uniquely trained team. Equipped with Seven of Nine's experimental anti-Borg weapon, the Infinity Modulator, the Hazard Team has beamed to a Borg cube on a dangerous mission. However, the team was quickly overwhelmed and the iMod is now in the hands of the Borg. Separated from the rest, Monroe is attempting to rescue the team. Not alone in this one, Moreau. I don't even know what the fuck he's talking about. All right, um, the game itself. So, Ensign, I've uploaded your mission objectives and tactical information. Review it now before proceeding. Okay, so the Star Trek Voyager story, how I remember, it, is they're like seventy year light years away from home, so they have to find their find their way home. I don't know how many seasons. I think it was like three seasons, four seasons of Voyager. I don't know. I gotta ask my uh, father about this one. But the Borg. If there's one dangerous um, thing about Star Trek, is the Borg. The Borg are the most dangerous, dangerous species in the whole um, series. And as they said, resistance is futile. But they get shut down by these things. So we got ourselves a weapon, the, uh, I forgot what it's called, compression rifle, and our phasers. Set phaser to stun. We need to go in here. Same control screen, WSAD to move, spacebar to jump. It's the same. But don't worry about it. Pressing E to use. Tab is the objectives. Monroe, my savior. Get the eye on. It's on that table. Okay. 
Infinity Modulator. I'm just killing some Borg. Let's go. Man, what a cocky attitude you have there. So we have the I mod. Thanks, Miro. I'll get Odell back to the ship. Yeah, about the Borg, um if you use the same weapon too many times, they will adapt and block your um compression rifle. So don't use compression rifle that much. Well they know we're here now. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. I know they're there. I think, yeah, the Borg was introduced in um, the next generation. I just don't know if it's the movie or one of the episodes. I don't see a dis note here. Uh, I'd come with you if I had an eye mod, but uh, what say I stay here at the moment? Hey, Monroe. Ah, thank you for your um comment there. So weapons have two ammo types. I think there's red and blue. Blue is like you can. Recharge them at any weapon energy terminal. Reds, I think you need to find them. Hey Monroe, if you're not back in five minutes, I'm not going in after you. <laughs> He'll go in after me, just watch. Hey, the force field's down. What the Monroe needs to come here? Some board just beamed in and they're Ah, let him keep him. It's fine. He's a dick anyways. Um, so this is with the expansion pack. Um, the expansion pack adds the, um, original voices from Voyager, the crew. Captain Janeway, uh, Chicote, um, Tuvok, Seven of Nine, Torres. All the, all the actors who play their roles voice in this, um, game in the expansion pack. Which is nice. Very nice. Oh, uh, my father had a crush on Seven of Nine. He does. <laughs> I think everyone does. I mean, I mean damn. Alright, new area. Incursion. Still got the eye mod. I don't know if we're gonna see the eye mod again. I think this is like the only time we get to see the eye mod. Just to make sure it, no, no boars are right near me. Shut them down. Oh well. So, right click is the all fire. All weapons have an alternate fire mode. Oh, there's no reloading yet. In the second game, there's reloading. But not in this game. There's some members of the Hazard team that I really like. Chang is one of them. Chang is one of the characters that I definitely like. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Whoops. Yep, fall damage is still a thing. Sorry, there was the wrong one. I, got, I need to go up this one. I, I don't want to get crushed. Charge. Nothing behind me. That's good. Gotta wait for this. Yes, you are the Borg. I am human. That nope. Fuck. Is this one? All right. Find up an elevator. 
Oh, this game had a very fun multiplayer mode. And it still has fans even to this day. I'm really sad that this game isn't really re-released in any form. Now that Raven Software is stuck with Activision. Making Call of Duty sh sh shit. It's really sad. I just want them to be independent again. That'd be great. Alright, enter a new area. Tactical decision. Is this gonna be on Kobayashi Maru? Uh, Kobayashi Maru is like an unwinnable situation that a cap every captain has to- Every leader has to face some way or another. Hey, Chell! I thought our favorite character of mine. I've located the hazard team. They're trapped behind some sort of force field. Acknowledged, Ensign. See if you can locate the control console for the force field. Hey, there you go. Hey, be careful. It's not working. I don't have time for this. I told you. Well, what was I supposed to do? Mr. Monroe, your tactical approach was, shall we say, tactless. All right, Hazard Team, report to debriefing. Nice going, Monroe. Nice going, Monroe. <laughs> Sir, if I may. How was I supposed to know the panel would explode? That point is not relevant, Mr. Monroe. A given situation is not as predictable as you might desire. Your reckless decision has caused the death of you and your teammates. You have failed. Had you followed standard hazard team procedures, you may have survived the simulation and achieved your mission objectives. Yes, sir. Procedure. Speak freely, Ensign. Deck four. With all due respect, sir, I don't think procedure would have mattered. There wasn't any way I could have possibly rescued them. Someday, Mr. Monroe, you may be called upon to do the impossible. Consider this to be your personal Kobayashi Maru. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Computer. Reroute turbo lift to the bridge. Status. Captain, we have reports of secondary EPS conduits on decks eight and nine rupturing. Warp drive is offline. Responded to a distress signal from a derelict vessel and it opened fire. Tuvok, they don't respond to hails. Maybe we need to send a clearer message. Target their weapon systems and disable them. Three phasers. Direct hit. Phasers had no discernible effect. Half the shields are down, Captain. Rerouting auxiliary power to the shields. Captain, I'm getting reports of extensive damage on decks 9 and 10. We're not going to survive another hit. Photon torpedoes, full spread. Torpedoes away. Undamaged. What just happened? Captain, we seem to have been torn from normal space. 
I think we've been pulled through some sort of isodimensional rift. Where are we? Apparently, here, Captain. Sensors and most of Voyager's primary systems are offline. Until repairs are made, it may be difficult to ascertain exactly where here is. Captain's Log, Stardate 53854.7. Voyager was attacked by an unknown force and transported to some kind of starship graveyard. Whereabouts unknown. The ship is heavily damaged. Communications, propulsion, and other systems are offline. Until repairs are done, we're utterly helpless. Stranded. Let's get this ship back together, Chakotay. Get damage control online. Harry, find out what you can about those other ships and exactly where we are. Hi, Captain. Uh oh. Captain, there's a containment leak in engineering. If we can't get it sealed, we're going to have a warp core breach. Ensign Monroe, you're wearing a hazard suit. Get down to engineering and help Balana seal that leak. Aye, aye, Captain. Turbo lift controls malfunctioning. Initiate deck 11, engineering. Captain, we're drifting. Attempting to compensate with maneuvering. Yeah, I'll be fine. Listen to their techno babble. Unavoidable delays. You know what I should have done? Should have saved the game. Yeah, let's save the game. There you go. Much better. Sir, here's the damage control progress for the aft side of the deck. Good. Who's fixing the data shunt here? Showers and Chell, sir. Good. And Renner's on the Jeffries tubes. Ah, uh, the Jeffries tubes. Garrett, can you give me a hand with this plasma? Come on, man. I need you to get in here first. I hit the E button. What the fuck? I hit the E button. There you go. I was hitting the E button. What the so fuck? Close. Where were you heading? I need to take a turbo lift to engineering. Well, the aft turbo lifts were the only ones working on this deck, but they're behind the containment. Crap. So where do you want me to go? The explosion shorted off this console. I, I, I think there's an override somewhere on this deck, but I'm not sure where. I mean, you're engineering, are you? I think here's what I think. Yellow uniforms are. Sorry, Monroe. The data shunt's been severed here. Everything down this way is shut off. 
Hey, we're getting a power surge here. Monroe, quick, hit that panel and shut off this relay. There you go. That was close. Chell, I need to get this containment field down. There's an override in the Jeffrey's tube just down that corridor. Oh, I passed that. Okay. Uniforms. Uh, yellows are, I think, engineering and stuff. Red are security, and blue is, like, medical. Well, I can't go there now. But I can go this way. I hope I'm right. There you go. A mission is not failed. I could, I could. I need just need to find another way through. Locked. They're all locked. There you go. Wait, I thought I already did it. Hey Monroe, looks like the explosion took out these two aft turbulence. Jeffrey's tubes are the only way down now. I was trying to clear the debris from this one when the EPS conduits overloaded. Great. The starboard side should be fine. This one's going to take me all day to fix now. Almost out of clear too. Almost, huh? Well, that sucks. I'm gonna go back here again because I did press the button. Can't go that way. Okay, force field deactivated. Nothing. Alright, down to the temp Jeffrey's tube. Jeffrey. Jeffrey's. I don't know why they call it that. <laughs> Look at that. That doesn't take self damage. Which I'm fine. Great. Just the perfect. Okay, we can go down here. Alright. Hazard duty. We still need to find a. Um, oh, oh. Oh, good. Toxic shit. Gotta shut. Gotta drain that down. Okay, that's better. Oh, there you are. Monroe, what took you so long? We've got a warp core breach in progress. You need to get in there and shut it down. There are two things you have to do, so listen carefully. First, cut the power relays on the main floor. Then go to the upper level and decouple the dilithium matrix. Wait a minute. You're going to need a helmet to get through that coolant leak. I've got one in my transporter buffer. Hurry up and find those terminals. There isn't much time before we lose containment and have to reject the core. Monroe, I'm not sure how much time you've got left. All right, fine. Attention. Warp core breach imminent. Access denied. Monroe, I just remembered. You're going to need the access code to cut the power relays. Go to the access code station. Displaying power relay access code. Got it. Access granted. Power relays have been cut. Attention. Warp core breach in 30 seconds. All right, we need to go upstairs. And hit that. Dilithium matrix decoupled. Warp core offline. Core breach averted. Oh, thank God. Good job, Ensign. That was touch and go there for a little while. No problem, Lieutenant. Okay, let's get a cleanup crew in here. Seal that leak. We need to get main power back online. 
Fort. You... Give me a hand with the resonance cascade modulator. Oh, we're talking about Half Life now? Intruder alert. All security and hazard team personnel to the loading dock. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Someone invaded our property. We gotta go shoot them down. Gina, watch your alignment. That isodyne array has to be modulated to exactly 4.7 microjoules. Yes, ma'am. The what? Michael? What the fuck's a microjoules? There you go. And some stats. Decade the loading dock. Back online yet. Just the gate loading dock. I, man, if it, if only elevators were like that, that'd be cool. Defense. Oh, chill. Oh, Chang. Chang. Come on. Why are you giving me this piece of shit? If you need medical attention, just come to me. Monroe, over here. Oh, by the way, the doctor is not a real person. He was from the um, he was from the hollow deck. That thing in his arm makes him like physically appear in the ship. But he is from the um, hollow deck. We're being invaded by some kind of pirates. They're taking our supplies. We have to stop them. There are two of them behind a barricade in there. They're launching energy grenades. See if you can eliminate them. Ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Pirates? So we got Klingon. That really is to kill them. Scavenger rifle, new weapon. One of the first new weapons that takes red ammo. if they do take full damage. We're done here. Tuvok to Foster. We are pinned down in Cargo Bay 1. We require your immediate assistance. Alright, let's go. Tuvok needs help. Come with me. Alright, Tuvok needs help. Out of all the original characters, I think Tuvok's my least favorite. I just find him more of annoying. I know Vulcans are like that. They have no emotions and stuff. I don't know, it's just... I think Spock... I think I like Spock a little better. What? Ah, let him... let him be. That'll be fine. And we're done? We're done. Nope. Oh, good. Damn pirates. Tuvok to bridge. The intruders have been repelled. Well done. It seems our situation is worse than we thought, Tuvok. Report to the conference room. Acknowledged. Lieutenant Foster. Have the team report to hazard operations. <laughs> Monroe's like, what? I am certain that many of you are curious as to our situation. Voyager has been transported to a region of space we are not familiar with. It seems that many other disabled vessels are present here as well. We have detected an energy dampening field surrounding the area that is draining Voyager systems of power. For the moment, we are trapped like the other ships, and cannot escape. Like the Tarkana's gravity well, 247 ships have been lost there. Or the Bermuda Triangle. You know, back on Earth. Perhaps. Our primary weapons and propulsion systems are offline at the moment. 
The captain's current strategy is to find out as much as we can about our surroundings while we affect repairs. So what's the deal with our unwelcome visitors? We do not have much information about them as of yet, Mr. Beesman. They appear to be scavengers of some sort, comprised of Klingons, humans, and Malons. With only short-range sensors operational, we have been unable to locate their vessel since it departed. However, we have detected a vessel nearby. While sensors indicate no life signs, we have detected a functioning power source on board. Our hope is that their computer systems are still operational and contain information about this area. The hazard team will transport onto this vessel and retrieve any files that are still intact. No life signs? Like a ghost ship. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> While your superstitious beliefs are quite illogical, Mr. Chell, caution is recommended. Your team leader, Lieutenant Foster, will now brief you on your specific mission objectives. Lieutenant? All right. This is an information gathering mission. Minimal encounter probability. The hazard team will split up into two squads. Alpha Squad, my group, will beam into control room A. Ensign Monroe and Beta Squad will be transported to Control Room B. Our objective is to have at least one of the teams locate a functioning terminal to extract any information we can and return to Voyager. In the unlikely case of hostile encounters, the technicians should be protected at all costs to ensure retrieval of this information. Any questions? Sounds like a cakewalk. See the Quartermaster, Oviedo, in the equipment room. Gear up. Then report to transporter room one. Dismiss. Well, before we do that... Oh, man, I'm really low on health. But before we do that, we're going to end it here. So when we come back, we are going to go to that unknown vessel and find out what the hell is it doing here and what it, what is it, like, you know, why is it here? Could be life science. I don't know. Who knows? Till then, we'll see you next time. Later.